I got a topic I want to put out there. It's called premeditated murder. All right. Let's break it down like this. There's going to be a couple of more topics I'm putting out there, too. A couple of more topics. All right. For instance, I got, for instance, I got, that's a certain person, a neighbor of mine, live right next door to me. I'm just going to put this out there. Every time I come home or I come outside, she come flying around the corner, right on time, park in her yard, grab her dog. I think she bipolar a little bit. Grabs her dogs, go to call somebody on the phone, tell mama after her or something. All right, first of all, the lady don't like me. I don't like her very much either. Homeboy of mine found her in his yard. In his yard now. At 2 o'clock in the morning. Sneaking around in his parking lot. He came out with his gun and his flashlight. And when he spotted that she was a woman who she, the lady down the street like, Wonder what she was doing up in his car, but he like he just looked at her like, and he said, "Oh, uh, she said flat like flat in her face." She like, "Oh God, oh God, um, what's going on? I mean, um, uh, that dude. I mean, what's going on? Uh, you on this man carport three o'clock about two o'clock in the morning. That's one. He's a Caucasian male, by the way, long haired dude, pretty cool. What up, K? Yeah, I call him K. But um, she's on this man carport." Then I caught her in my yard a couple of times. When I'm feeding my animals, my pets or whatever, I found her dogs eating my pet's food under my cardboard. All right. Now, this woman literally just don't like me, period. Uh, first of all, cause I'm a felon. She don't, she don't like felons, period. Dead. I don't care. I'm cut though. Now, what would you do if you call somebody about two to three o'clock in the morning? And don't come to your house. Don't put be at your house. None of that. At your carport. On your carport. Like my homeboy did. We shined a light on it. He had a gun pointed already because he thought it might have been somebody trying to steal one of his rides. But he seen it with the neighbor down the street. What would you have done? Well, if you was in his shoes, what would you have done? Okay. Now, this same person keep going against me because when I saw her, I'd be like, ma'am, you forgetting that your door's wide open and it's been open for hours. So I knocked on the door to let her know. And then she forgot her car door's wide open. Where I live, man, it's the hood. Man, it's about to hop in your car and, you know what I'm saying? and, and, and take off, you know? And she be talking, hey! Hey, uh, hey, nothing. Hey, ain't gonna bring your car back. <laughs> Nigga ain't gonna stop on the hey. You feel me? So, I was like, uh, <laughs> God forgive me. I guess I'm wrong for that, that joke. I don't know, but they ain't gonna stop on the hey. They gonna keep on riding. <laughs> I mean, just, it is what it is. So, when I try to tell her the mistake she was making, like, for instance, she left her car doors open from 7 or something in the morning, a.m., to about 9.45 at night, p.m. And being a good neighbor, like, State Farm is there. I tried to be a good neighbor. So I was like, man, I know this lady don't mess with me. I know she don't like me. But what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? I said, you know what? Let me at least knock on her door and let her know that. You know what I'm saying? House though. Oh, uh, she's like, who is it? I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, it's just your neighbor. And uh, I just come to let you know, man, you had your door open to your car ever since <laughs> seven some this morning, ma'am. Seven a.m. this morning when I left the first time and I and I came back and now your car doors are still wide open. She's like, don't help me. I know, I know, leave me alone. Screaming and stuff and whatever else. Now my neighbor thinks, now my other neighbors 
think uh, because of her lying and every time she park in her yard, she take off with her dogs and, oh, he coming after me. And ain't nobody coming after nothing. I don't care nothing about that. She making people think I'm the, I'm the, I'm the snatcher of mobile. So I'm like this. I got to let y'all know what's going on. This, I told you every time I do something, nine times out of ten, it's a message if it's about people. But what would you have done? What would you have done? Like I said, um, premeditated murder. Someone gave me a rumor that someone paid someone to try to set me up to kill me. And they're paying different people trying to set me up to kill me. Trying to make something seem like something that is not so they can kill me. That is premeditated murder. Life sentences, <laughs> they can give you a hundred years, a thousand years for your heinous crime. They can also bring back yellow mama and start um, electrocuting niggas. Yeah, they can do that too. Y yeah. And uh, yeah, they can do all that. But like I said, I, the only way we're gonna come back together is for slavery to be brought back, I believe. When everybody that's minority is in slavery again, we'll come back together as a people. Yeah, I know. Cause we gotta be in bondage and even in lockup, we come back together as people. That's funny, ain't it? Oh yeah, people start breaking bread, making do wops, cooking with each other. Showing love, what up man, you, you good? Your, your food looking good? I hear them, they ain't really trying to do that. It's very rare somebody help you out here. You know what I'm saying? I even show love to anybody out here. You know what I'm saying so all the bias lies and bull people got going on they need to kill it all right and all the evil they got going on they need to stop it so think about it people want help from God and everything but yet still they sit around doing evil towards people they want God to take a curse away that he brought or allowed allowed because of the evil we all, all, all the humans do it said the wages of sin is death, man. There's no way to avoid the death if you're constantly doing evil. Towards people, I'm, I'm sorry. You will not avoid the death. It'll come upon you or someone you love. Can't avoid it. And something else, knowledge one-on-one. The way you know you have an enemy is somebody look your way and they, they speed off in their car mad. You know that's an enemy, especially mine. If someone comes by your house, start going boom, 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 three o'clock in the morning, but or sometimes it's all right, where you know you're resting early in the morning, or whatever. If they park by your house at a certain distance, where you know your loud music is gonna span through the whole neighborhood and disturb you and all your neighbors. I got some old neighbors, so I don't like it. And disturb all your neighbors. They have no respect for you. Your mom, they don't care nothing about your mom. The only thing they care about, your kid folks, sister, daughters, whoever got to go to work in the morning, or school or whatever. They don't care. They just care about hurting somebody else, irritating somebody else. And for the most part, most people know they irritate me. So they just started back up with the bull. Now somebody told me somebody stuck me in a store, punched me in a store or whatever, but I'm not sure. I just stood there and then it happened. And I turned around and looked at him finally. And I finally looked at him. Know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, the nigga for real. Oh, he for real. He grabbed his hand. I said, oh, he for real. That nigga hard for real. And he ran and he threw his money on the counter, growled what he needed to growl, and took off. I said, yeah, God, go hard. What you mean I'm hard for real? What you mean talking about hard? What you talking about? He like, oh, oh, to my wife, talking about God. He like, yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, yeah, that's it. Oh, I, I, I. And he, and he took off. And I still don't know exactly what went on. Don't know. But maybe that's God. Maybe God don't want me to totally know exactly what happened. Maybe I don't know. But like I said, I've been fighting so long, you know what I'm saying, that I don't, when I was younger. Being the strongest now don't matter nothing to me, man. If I ain't strong in life, making money under God, handling business under God, that don't mean nothing. Being strong by all the other stuff don't mean jack. Underground fights, that don't mean nothing to me. Making money that way, fighting on me, a doggone thing to me, bro. Long as I'm winning the fight of life, winning the fight of God, winning win the fight of right. Like I told people, even if I die, somebody shoot me and kill me, you can't take heaven from me. 
That for sure. You cannot take heaven from me, bro. I don't care what you do. You can't snatch God down from heaven. You just give me a reward if I die. I'm going to heaven, son. Sweet rest, then heaven. Now, if you can take heaven away from me, you want something. The fleshly body, ah, that's easy. Anybody can die. We under the law of sin and death. Anybody can die. That's easy. That ain't nothing. Anybody can die. Woo! And we even do that wood right there. Is that wood you finna throw away? No. Oh, oh, bro, man. I thought that wood you finna throw away. I was like, hold on, let me get some of me. Holler at you real quick. I was trying to holler at that man before uh, he throw that wood away for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I can, I'll shoot. I'll find a way to get it to the house. I can use that wood, man. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, um, and it didn't look bad. And something else. I want to get him on the camera because I didn't know he was an enemy, straight up. Use your mind. You know, I gotta always use these. Use your mind. Think. Think. Use your mind. That's what you do. But I got to the point where I don't care what people say about me. And I'm getting tired of my neighbor going around with her bipolarness. See that one of them right there, getting mad, and taking off fast. Yeah. Like I said, I don't care about my neighbor with the bipolarness. Just stop telling people I'm after you. I don't care nothing about that. Stop going around lying like somebody's trying to hurt you. Stop it. Just keep my name out your mouth for evil. I'm not that man. You looking for somebody evil? You looking for a war? Go to another country and pull your pistols out and see what happened to you. <laughs> You'll never leave that, homie. <laughs> Go to Africa and say, we taking over. Yeah. <laughs> Go to China, talking about, come on, we take it over. Yeah, we bad. Yeah, and see what happens. Bomb China, he gonna cut you up with every sword and every grenade, and every bomb. <laughs> but they, <laughs> but they gonna do you in. <laughs> they gonna make you out of some sushi. <laughs> For real, they gonna, <laughs> they gonna turn you into sushi, nigga. But they got more guns and more soldiers in China, boy. You know what I'm saying? You could ever imagine around the world, boy. Stop playing. Then they got nuclear power. Do you want to die or something? <laughs> Nigga, you want to die? <laughs> Do you know you act you in China? <laughs> this is not America. You're not home. We torture here. <laughs> it ain't free. <laughs> it's not free here. <laughs> you walk up to somebody and kill somebody in China, boy. You might get cane, torture. Little, your little meat man down there get cut off. Fed to the fishes. <laughs> All that. You know what I'm saying? All that. I'm gangster ride, I'm gangster fine. <laughs> man, the hardest people I ever seen. Was a mother that's trying to take her family with no, how you say they had no, um, no father figure. The hardest warriors I ever seen. Anybody go gangster. Was my mama trying to cook us a meal when we really didn't hardly have nothing to buy anything with. Single mother on her own. Now that's hard. My dad doing the best he can. Preacher, a prophet. Trying to stay out of trouble, trying to stay out of bull. It's easy to kill, it's easy to slaughter, it's easy to hurt people. That's easy. But can you hold back your hand? That's easy. And premeditated murder, you cannot, you cannot think you can get away with that with certain people. There are some people who have friends in high places and overseas and here that they may not even know that are their friends but every time somebody come after that person they end up dying and then people start respecting them, them people everybody else start respecting so a nigga gotta die 
None of these guys get tortured and cut to pieces somewhere and thrown in a ditch or all these things right here gotta happen for you to become compliant and say, ooh, man, let's stop messing with that dude because uh, stuff keep going bad every time we do. Am I strong? That answer is yes. Do I desire to hurt people or to rule the world with my fist? No. But I'm going to fight for the death penalty to come back in America. I'm going to fight for torture to come back in America. Then if people know they can pay under certain rules, maybe they will be compliant to them. Maybe they will, not, they will stop doing the bull crap. I'm going to fight for cops' right to use full lethal force again. I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to fight for my name to be cleared so I can step up in power on certain things that need to be done. Enough is enough. This madness, insurrection, and all this trying to set people up for evil, it has to stop. America has become too soft. <laughs> too soft. Way too soft, man. It, it, it's, they're too soft. Get away with every you get, people get away with everything, everything, man. So they figure you're gonna keep them in there about a few days a month, too. You know, then you're gonna basically let them go. So why not start do, stop doing evil? Why stop doing evil when y'all let them get away with it? They're not, they're not gonna stop. But when they start getting tortured for the evil, they start getting locked up a thousand years for the evil, they start getting separated for their family and family for the evil. They bodies don't say get get thrown in a ditch for the evil for keep doing evil over and over again. Now you done evil in your past, everybody's born in sin. And you stop and you gay guard your life. Oh, even if you ain't gay guard your life, you just wanna live neutral, man. Woman, you just wanna live neutral. Then amen. I hope your situation go good. Yeah. I said I hope I can't really pray for you like I used to. Um, God told me not to. Something's happening right now. But um, I'm about to make a move. I hear somebody screaming. I don't know if nobody need help or what. Yeah, that's what I do. I ain't the police, I ain't none of that. I ain't none of those things that just people try to call me. But I am a child of the most high. What up, puppy? I'm looking at that dog, look at beautiful dog, man. Well, I'm out. God bless y'all and y'all stay in strength. In Jesus' name, hair wolves get a bronze. Pressing through. Christ, God of Israel.